from Sandown. Hello. Uh, so before we start the day, we just thought we'd give you a little room tour. It is a little room, so it's not giving you a big thing. So we've got a bed, double bed. Surprisingly, it is a double bed. You get two single duvets and whatnot, yeah, and it's still two mattresses, the last but couple of rooms was, yeah, just two single beds pushed two together. Two single beds pushed together, so it's actually a big bed. Full length mirror, an attic room. We had to go up so many stairs. It was two flights of stairs. Yeah, they were really steep. Yeah, there was a vertical handrail on one of them, to be fair. Uh, you get a little desk, kettle, coffee machine with some coffee and... Um, yeah, coffee and teas included. Teas, creamers and whatnot. Little wardrobe area. Small bathroom with a shower. No shower door. Yeah, it looks like there should have been one. Yeah. Also, uh, there's a towel over the drain because it smells of drain. So, yeah. That. Um, toilet. The small flush doesn't work. Big one does. And then, you've got, oh, you've got loads of outlets. I'm going to head through Zandam, uh, see if there's anything for breakfast. If not, go to the train station, get a train over to Amsterdam Central and pick up our OV chip cards. And then, Amsterdam's our oyster. <laughs> Treacherous. Use the vertical. Uh, vertical stairs. Hotel is all um, automated, there's yeah, no reception or anything. So you just um, I get the code, they just talk to you over booking.com or wherever you're booking them through, I assume, and they just send you a message saying, you know, here's the code for your room, here's which room you're in, and they're linked to pay the um, tourist tax. Yeah, so uh, we are staying on the top floor, which it seems like there's um, three rooms on the top floor, mm -hmm. and I believe all three of them have their own private bathroom. I don't know if you noticed on the second floor when we were coming down, there, there was a, a restroom. Bathroom. Yeah. So I don't know whether there's some rooms that have private bathrooms on those that don't. Yeah, we were, when we were coming in yesterday, there were some people that were also coming in at the same time. They couldn't find it, but there's just like a, a 7A on the wall. Yeah, um, it's, not very, it's not like advertised, it's just a door. No, it's, yeah, it's, there's two doors next to each other in the middle of a street that's got some bars and cafes on it. So, yeah. so this is sort of, it seems like it's the main street potentially of um Sandam area yeah it's very cute yeah it all just leads up to what's that building called the lego building uh yeah it's a in hotel yeah you'll see it in a minute look at these little stepping stones though but all of the buildings still look very nice they were very cute. Yeah. yeah there's lots of cute restaurants it looks like there's like a, a barge you can sit in but the barge isn't going anywhere because you can't get under this bridge. This is cute. Um, the style. Like a lot of the buildings have this style. Like colourful and. Matches with the big uh, hotel. Yeah. Colourful. It's very nice, isn't it? So little statues all over. Men with the horses. But yeah, very, very cute. And there's a Pathé Theatre. Nice the, the seaside, these sort of style of buildings. Yeah, I can see that. It reminds me like a little hut you get. <laughs> yeah, seaside. like a dungeoness that we yeah, were looking at. Cool. We're just going to jump into Albert Hine and find some food, I think. Or a drink, something to take with us. Because I think it's only, it's only 20 minutes on the train, isn't it? Something yeah, like it didn't that. take long. What we saw at the last one, it seems like charcuterie is a big thing, so you can get things pre made for yeah, charcuterie. Of Bakery. What's over here? Oh, there you go, El. <laughs> croissant. Are they croissants? They look They've different. In them. Yeah, maybe cinnamon, maybe cinnamon or something. something. So it'd be a gamble, what if we buy? Come in the morning, look. As many tarts you like them. Very nice. Oh, a chocolate. Oh, tumble looking chocolates, yeah. That's fun. Looks like a very nice bakery section. I'm so jealous of supermarkets, or maybe it's just because we're not used to them. Maybe that's all it is. Look at that haggle slag. Like got loads and loads of different ones. Yeah, yeah thick ones, thin ones, mini ones. 
you can make your own uh, Muller corners. <laughs> you get pink ones like hell. How adorable. Oh, they're really cool. This is wine and alcohol down there. Oh no, there's also crisps. <laughs> Let's have a look, shall we? See, I have the honest, honestly, I could go on holiday and just go to supermarkets. That was my childhood. <laughs> yeah, it would genuinely, it would make me very happy. I just like seeing different things. It is really fun, you I get really these like Nibbit rings, yeah. Cheetos Nibbit rings, Cheetos at Big Chipotle. I love um, that they give you a score of how nutritious they are. <laughs> yeah. We've got orange and banana, maybe. Uh, orange, mango and apple. Apple, pear, and raspberry. raspberry. Mm, there's a smoothie there. Oh, a couple of smoothies. I get a big orange juice with no bits, maybe. This one with bits? That's got pulp in it. I'll get this one. Oh, this is a CC. So we've got a little pizza, bowl water, Frank's got an orange juice, I got a little, a little, a little juice. Canille <laughs> I've been saying it all the way around it so is. I don't forget the name. Yeah, Something he's got a canille brood, yeah. Not sure what it is. It looks like a croissant with um, maybe like cinnamon or something. Yeah, it looks like a cinnamon swirl croissant. It was in the sweet area, so. Yeah. You've got to get these mini receipts to, once you come in, you have to scan something to leave. I'm sure if you don't get anything, you can ask. But yeah. But, um, You got a scanner so it doesn't let him out. But they got a little, um, like the wraps and stuff that we had yesterday. We with these really small steps yesterday. Coming down was fine, it's a lot harder going up because they're so short. I don't know if we can walk on the red. You can walk on it, it's just uh, You have to be wary of bikes cars. Also going this up. is the, um, that building. What's it called? What do people call it? It's just the In Hotel or something. Oh, that. Intel Hotel. Intel Hotel, that's where you get it all the intel. Really cool, it does look really cool. It's like... Modular almost. Yeah. It's like... People say like <clears> Lego, <throat> it looks like Lego. It's like what people want container houses to look like. <laughs> it's very cool. It's just like they've got houses stacked on top of each other, isn't it? Yeah. But it is cool. Yeah, Albert Hein was good. It's a good one, Albert Hein, we like it. Very nice buildings, again. There's tulips there, going up for the... Uh, Aww, that's Oh, There's a Icoon Hotel, iconic little the Icoon Thank Hotel. Very nice, huh? You gotta wait for our second ticket. We've got them both, never mind. There you go. Give one to Elle, give one to me, and then we'll show you what we have to do. So you find the ones that have the green arrows, this, put your card on, tells you where you're going, gates open, you walk through, and you're done. 10 minutes, so we've got... Yeah, last night we came through Amsterdam Central as well, didn't we? Stood outside at Tony's Chocolate Only at the entrances, just here, down a little hole. Um, Ellie's just finishing her little pizza that we got right behind, breakfast pizza, so it's all good. Um, it tastes exactly like the one from Lidl. Well, that's good. That's good that it does. <laughs> uh, I've got a little croissant I've got to eat. I should find out what that is. I don't even know what it is yet. What was it called? Auto Buddha. Carneal Bruder? I can't remember. I think I said it in the vlog. It's a cinnamon croissant, I think. Oh. It's a very good cinnamon croissant. You want to try some? Mm-hmm. Wait, you know, I got pizza in your mouth. Oh, yeah, that's very good. That takes croissants to the next level. Mm. All right, so now we've got everything. Plan is we're gonna go in Tony's chocolate only, make some custom chocolate maybe. We'll see what there is. We'll see how it goes. But then it takes a couple hours to be able to pick that up, doesn't it? So we're gonna make the chocolate. Then we're gonna head over to the sex museum. We can't really show anything in there. We might get a couple of clips, but that's it. And then we're going to the house of bowl and looking around that area. Before we go to Wonder. So you have to choose how it's gonna be. So two two bars? Well, it's one bar that's split in half, isn't it? Yeah. Your yeah. chocolate nice. See if you do it One. What correct time is half dark chocolate? Should we do one of both? Yes. Like a mixture. Now you can add the ingredients. 
said hazelnut, raspberry, almond, disco dip. Toffee, but they don't have any. They don't have any. Nougat, biscuit, caramel, sticky yeah, cookie. Yeah, I reckon some caramel. Done. Then we get to design our wrapper. Right. What colour do you want the background to be? Obviously, Ella wants it pink. The tone needs to be pastel blue. Yeah. Should we do the flavour of it? Ooh, purple. What about a different pink? A little offset pink. Oh, very pink. No, it's too pink. That's I can't see what it is. <laughs> purple works well. Oh, this is that right in there. That's quite good. Yeah? Yeah. Can you put a name on that? From? <laughs> what like, what colour do you want them to be? I think white looks good. Yeah. Ready. There we go. I'll get it paid for and then it looks like they're all getting everything set and ready. Yeah, we're leaders. Alright. It's around 2 o'clock. One thing with um, Tony's chocolate, only make sure you pair right. Plus four four when you put your phone number yeah, in. Yeah, it said my number was invalid, and we we're like, why? And I was like, oh, that'd be a UK number, so plus four four. Yeah, so it sent you a WhatsApp up. message, so you don't even need to have like. Yeah, I just got. Doesn't have text. to be done by SMS, which is good. Nice oh, back up this way. We are heading to. Sorry, bikes everywhere. Into the sex museum, I believe, are we? Yeah. So we've just been through the sex museum. Yeah, what? Um, for like eight euros or so whatever. I thought it was great, a great price. Yeah, it was you a get, lot of fun. It's quite big. There's a lot of like staircases that you could easily just walk past, I think, and not realise you've walked past them. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in there. Yeah, obviously we can't show basically anything on... Uh, I've taken a couple of um, short videos. Of just the PG bit. Yeah, um, it was fun. I would say... I don't know what was going on in like the Victor Victorian era and a I little bit before that. I don't know what was going on with all the animals. It all seemed very forced and animal-y, yeah. <laughs> get, get that gone guys, what's that about? <laughs> but yeah, that was it. And we're going to head to, we're going to jump on a tram now using our uh, OV travel card to head to uh, the House of Bull. Right, we'll meet you once we've seen uh, where we're going. That's Amsterdam Central. Very nice. If you're thinking it might be a bit scary, I, I wasn't. I was a bit apprehensive about coming to um, Amsterdam. We're not really city, city people. people. It doesn't actually feel like you can see. There's loads of people, but it doesn't feel massively busy. Not every, like not like everyone's on top of you. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah, I'd agree. Anyway, right. We'll catch you when we're uh, where we need to be. Right. We are just outside the House of Ball now. The, tra the trams are so easy to use. I don't. I was. I think I'm just nervous for trying new things. Uh, so, it turns out, um, House of Bowl doesn't actually open till one. And that's what we're booked in for. So we are just at this, you know, little maybe market type doings. We'll see if there's some little food or a snack yeah, or something before we go in, shall we? Yeah, that sounds perfect. Right, it's very cute though. Just outside House of Bowl and on this museum. Area. There's like a little food and just market stall type thing. It's tiny, there's like six stalls or something. But we were walking past and we saw some fries. We're like, we'll get a snack. So we've got half an hour to kill. And uh, everyone was getting fries with cheese. So I was like, oh, we're going to get some fries with cheese. We got some fries with cheese, got some wheat sauce with it. They are so good. It's very good. It's like your um, classic American style mm, baked cheese. Food. Baked cheese. It's tasty though. So good. And the fruit sauce is amazing. Nice and warm as well. Mm. So that's that museum. The Reichs Museum. The Reichs Museum. Is that just an art museum basically? Yeah, it's another art gallery. Hey. underneath it and like through. Should we do that? We've still got 10 minutes like, so. The, cycles are, um, the, the bikes, bikes, yeah you see them now. Look. Follow this cute. woman on the bike. It's quite cute walking through though isn't it? 
here we are in Amsterdam. <laughs> There's some more Vermeer things there. It looks very nice. It's a little garden as well. Yeah, it is a lovely building. It's a huge building. And if it's just full of art, that's probably a lot of art. Yeah, a lot of art. Yeah, there's these like grass bits. Do you know anything about Vermeer Hill? Should we go back through then? No. I don't know if that's a person or a thing. Yeah, or... maybe that's a style. <laughs> I don't know. Not sure. I know they've got a lot of Rembrandt and stuff because that's he's from here. Yeah, we went through the Van Gogh shop and he had um, some pins and stuff of little bits of Van Gogh's paintings, which I thought was quite good. I think yeah, that's quite I nice. Yeah, they did magnets that looked like like picture frames that looked yeah. like like old-fashioned modern picture frames with the, the art inside. I thought that was really cool. Yeah. Because what's happened is a busker has uh, caused a crowd. A violinist. <laughs> Which is quite good, I think. Yeah. The, um, this museum, it like books up really far in advance, so you have to, if you yeah. want to go to it, you have to like get your reservation in. Yeah. Lots of people come on the day and then get disappointed because they can't come in. It could be like the Anne Frank uh, yeah, house. Yeah, same as the Anne Frank house. Which has the same. You have to book it like a few months in advance, I think, for the Anne Frank yeah. house. So, yeah. No, I think we'll head towards the House of Bowl now and uh, yeah. see what that's all about. See what it's all about, mate. Like, this is quite nice. Yeah, Just some tulips in the, maybe once, what was once a pond. Yeah, it's like kind of got water in the pond, doesn't it? I don't know if it's meant yeah. to or not. Here we are then. They're just outside Bowl. We're going to meet Lucas Bowl, the world's oldest distilled spirit brand. St. Well, I don't think I've heard of it, but I might be wrong. Maybe it's one of those that has been around for so long that you re re realize, you, you recognize it without realizing yeah. you know what it is. Yeah, they'll tell us when to take it. They can tell you. I'm already. It smells. Oh, it smells of broccoli now. It smells of um, like cherry. Oh, what that's. What else you tell me? Maybe I've got a nose blind. Yeah, maybe cherry. Mm. It smells nice. Oh, it's a new collection of more than three hundred and thirty. And also, when we asked for it, spirits were shipped from Amsterdam.
now, after we did that, it's that we can smell all the different liqueurs and see what flavour they are, and then we can lift up the um, numbers and see what they are. So this some of these are open. These are Maybe they're a bit broken. So. Strawberry. It smells like yogurt. It doesn't smell like mango Strawberry. necessarily, though. Yeah, an apricot yogurt, that's what I was thinking. Mm. Oh yeah, easily chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, this is cheating. Oh, it does smell like cheese, though. Mm. Yeah, it does smell like cheese. It was just instinct, I was like, oh, open this one, open this one. Uh, raspberries. Yeah. Strawberries or something. Oh yeah, strawberry. 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 Mm. strawberry. Oh, I'm going to give it again, yeah, I'll Maybe vanilla? Yeah, Not jelly. I mean, that's That's smells like... Kiwi, I wasn't going to say kiwi. <laughs> My inhaler. <laughs> it smells familiar. Give it, a, give it a whiff. What we're learning is we're not very good with our noses. <gasps> yeah. Oh yeah, that one smells just like um, cherry vimp. No, cherry vimp. That's not like peach or peach water. Lychee. You smell it? Yeah, you can smell it from here. Some of them you can smell really far away. <laughs> Oh yeah, it does. It smells like the chocolate one. Yeah, it's the chocolate one. <laughs> it's a fun little... Uh, no, we don't. It's a fun little thing. Oh my god! That's a Negroni. Oh! It smells like a margarita. Though. <laughs> It smells like tequila. So these are all of the ingredients, the botanicals that go into them. So you, can, you can smell them and see them. Oh, that smells nice. You like that smell. It says you can feel free to touch and break them. So oh. <sighs> Sorry? It just smells like aniseed, doesn't it? Yeah. It's not anise. Is the original recipe as written by Lucas Balls in his recipe book. That's nice hand right, isn't it? Yeah, he did have nice hand right. This is their secret sure. ingredient. <laughs> Frank doesn't look impressed. It just smells like rubbing off. The age old special oh, ingredients. Because it's a special ingredient. They've got to keep it secret. They can't be telling everyone who comes to the museum. So that was the House of Ball. It was uh, Balls? Ball. 
Not balls, balls. <laughs> uh, it was very good. Um, the shot, the cherry, yeah, cherry liqueur thing. And drink your shot while the floor rolls yeah, and lights. I found it. It was pretty. It was pretty cool. Yeah. It was a little bit wild when you took the shot because all of the um, the alcohol sort of went to you, started warming you. It was. It was just a bit wild. Yeah, I think it was basically trying to say like that. It's not just taste. It's all. Of it's the an experience. Well. Yeah. Like, Can you make an experience better by all of the having every sense sort of um, tingled? Tingled. <laughs> I don't know what the best description would be. But yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, it was it was a nice little museum. I, really I enjoyed the smelling smells. bit. Yeah, that was really fun. It was fun to guess them. And then um, we weren't very good, but it was fun. No, then the, the bar was one nice as well. You chose what cocktail you wanted. It, it gave you a description of all the things. Yeah, so. it was quite good. So you had like your taste wheel, and so it's like citrus or creamy or mm. fruity, and you choose the ones that you you like best. Yeah. And it gave you a suggest like another list. Like, oh, do you like this type of fruity, this type, you know, sweet, sour, and you chose which one and then it gave you a suggestion of what type of drinks you might like. Yeah, uh, so I got a uh, Ode to Vanilla, which was uh, oat milk, vanilla syrup, some bowls, cream liqueur and yeah. vanilla liqueurs and things like that. Um, I, I think one of them was a was, was just brown cream as well. I don't know what brown cream is. Yeah, I um, um, I just got a virgin corn star martini. Yeah, I liked Ella's. It was very sour, and Ella it's was very like, sour. Oh, so. <laughs> but um, I really like sour, so I thought that was good. Um, mine was it was fine. It's just I don't I don't like the taste of alcohol. Yeah. So every time I took a, a sip, it was like a it was that little. <laughs> Niggle at the end. We were saying though that you can tell it's like it's nice. It's nice alcohol, alcohol even though it's not alcohol fans. Wow. Sorry. Yeah. Go on. Yeah, that's that's all. Yeah. Um, yeah. Even the little shot was was nice. I might try and keep that as a souvenir. We'll see if, uh, if we can package it home. If not, not the end. Well, we got. I got a little bottle of the. Um, Bowls Geneva. Yeah, it's in like a their original recipe, original bottle. Not yeah, original, terracotta but, uh, style bottle. When they start. Oh, look at this fun little car. Goat's cheese, extra old. Not a big fan of goat's cheese. Sheep cheese, extra old. Cow, Cow cheese. Cow cheese, extra old. Mmm. Go around the side first. Oh, you get a, a tulip with these. We've seen the wooden tulips for sale a couple of places. Oh, look at this one. This one with his goat. That's what I forgot. Cow Young, Jersey. Baby Dam. Asparagus flavour cheese. Oh, I like how you pull a face and then you get me to try it. Lavender, truffle, pesto. Oh, that's the pesto one that's over there. Orange and clove, is that one? Let me try an orange and clove one. Else. Yeah. Is it very orangey? There's what, sorry? Is it very orangey? No, it's, it's, it's Christmassy. Yeah. It's not orange though. There's a whole wheel of palms on there. Yeah. Oh, it's just loving it in here. Other than chips, this is a dream. Yeah. You like a smoked one, don't you? <laughs> I could, I could eat that from yeah. Should we get that one? <laughs> beautiful, beautiful shots. I love how much cheese there is. I hope it's all real. All of the cheese. Yeah. What? If it's all real, yeah, that's amazing. And all the cheese is really, really delicious. It was. It's, it is a shame that we can't. I yeah. like to buy stuff like I that, but that. we can't. <laughs> Can you check it? No, you can't bring it at all, can you? I don't think you can bring dairy at all. Okay. Hey, look at it. 
the souvenir pin. I don't know where that was from. Oh, they're just in there, Elle. I'm still at the flower markets, looking for those flowers for my mum. Um, we've just got to... We're trying to find... She wants four bulbs only. But, uh... They, they only seem to come in bags at the moment. We've been trying to pass the cheese museum. That was quite fun, wasn't it? Oh, see, these are... Not. not tulips, though. That's cute little, uh... Yeah, okay, how adorable. They got these cute little buildings with all different things. They got waffles, flowers, bikes, wooden shoes, all sorts. Beautiful canal. We're across the river in Nord now. <laughs> it's a very different area, this bit. But this just seems in a really weird place. Like, considering it's like a tourist spot, it's like out of the way, isn't it? We're heading into Jumbo this time. Different sushi. Got an Asian wok. Pizza place. It's like one of those super fancy uh, Morrisons that has all the, the food court bit. That's food it. court, yeah. It's very nice. Tortillas. All this stuff. Hummus. All sorts of things. This is something we don't have in the UK. What's that? Egg, a pickle, some hummus, some grated carrot. <laughs> Not a full egg, just a slice of egg. Yeah, that was weird. They've got fantastical animals in the Netherlands that can lay multicolored eggs. <laughs> Wild. And there we are with our egg shortage. Just the variety of things you can get. Like we get courgettes, but then they get Gele courgettes and bolo courgette. It's just fascinating, isn't it? Mm -hmm. They do they, they for no stuff? reason cover their aubergines. This is what the Netherlands thinks of America. Big America. We saw some uh, Doritos that were cool America flavour. Yeah. But we're just getting some. Um, Mozzarella and tomato flips or something they're called. Yeah. We are here at Wonder. Our tomato and any. mozzarella flip things have been consumed. Very tasty. They were, they were a little bit dry. But um, they were very tasty when you got like the tomato bit. Mm -hmm. It was good. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're just at Wonder. Do you want to tell about Wonder Elk? Because I don't really know anything about it. It is. Um, I think it's like an exhibition on like fun and play so it's basically just there's like ball pits and stuff like that <laughs> and silly things experience the art of play there you go that's what it is they also have a roller rink and um, I think they've got like a beachy vibe um, like bar as well Ella's found her new bed now she must stay here it smells a bit weird
has it like this room. So it's just full of rooms that are all different. It's crazy. Oh, you have to put some headphones on. How loud are they? Just left the It's a bit mental this place. Ella's caught the shopping bug. She's just got a... Uh, thousand. Oh, that's clever. Do you know how they've done that? They've anchored the wheels to the floor. Upside down. That's what I pick up on in places like this. You see us? Wow! Hello, everybody! <laughs> Should we move on to the next room, Elle? I like this one, it's full of fat. Oh, look, that's cool, look at this. Come here, Elle. So you can see, in the camera, you see all of the fun. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> 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 Ella's now trapped in a twin uh, color machine. Uh, if you scan, I think we showed you. If you scan the uh, codes, your QR code, and have a go on the machines, and we both just won. Little bunnies. <laughs> 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 We're in this ball pen. Oh, I just popped the ball. Sorry about it. We'll scooch out, shall we? It's fun, though. There's a big ball at the top. We're going out this way or around? Your choice. Ella's as tall as a unicorn. <laughs> so that was wonder. Leaving out of this fun flower arches. <laughs> Crazy thing. It's very beautiful. Hi guys! We're back! <laughs> we finished, uh, so we've not really vlogged much this afternoon. Um, when we came out of wonder, we started walking to the train station, it started uh, raining. When did it thunder? That was then, yeah. That was then, cool. Big yeah. thunder, it was very Not rainy. big thunder mountain, we haven't just crossed <laughs> over. Uh, <laughs> Ella's got giddy, I don't know why. Um, yeah, it was it was alright, it was a lot of pictures. We've got a little gift to put in here, maybe. Bah! It's like an Instagram user's heaven. Yeah, it was a lot of fun, there was lots of little interactive things you could do, and pictures you could take, and it they had these... It was terrifying. It was a little bit like we had descended into some sort of like Hellscape. yeah like we'd lost the plot ella said it would make a really good um <laughs> like plot for a horror movie yeah it'd make a good scare maze or something yeah, like put was actors like the, in um, there and it would be horrible there was a, a scene with a mirror tunnel that was really trippy really trippy and i was like yeah this is where the person with the mirror suit would just come and run at you with a knife which was oh yeah. my god yeah that'd be terrifying yeah. um yeah there was a lot of there was a lot of like women in there 
who were fucking loving it. Yeah. They were getting every angle and then they were like taking a thousand. Bit, oh, we were like going, getting, they do, they have like machines around. You that. scan your QR code ticket yeah. and then it, and it gives takes you a picture five for you. Of, yeah. Yeah. So we did those and like we took a couple of silly pictures, uh, but there were people who were like taking a picture, then they go and look at it and they'd be like, no. And then again, again and again and again. And they'd be at the same place for like five or ten minutes. There was a group of women that we didn't see. And we got through two rooms and they were there and then they were in front of us and held us up for ages because yeah. we couldn't pass them and then we got into a, a big ball pit room and we passed them in there and thought they must probably it's probably still in there and yeah. it's three hours later <laughs> which room did you like the best um oh some bells going the room i liked best would be I like the sequin room. There was oh, one where nice. you could move the sequins. Yeah, one of those ones forward. where you push it one way and it's one colour and then you push it the other way. And it, it wasn't an up and down one, so it was really hard to write poo. <laughs> but I wanted to. <laughs> I wanted tried. To. But it didn't um, really work. I liked the room that looked like it was a painting. Yeah. That room was really pretty. That room smelled like paint to me. <laughs> Like they'd painted it all, so it looked like sort of like watercolor. Yeah. And it was, was it? Is it Van? Yeah, Van I inspired? think it was kind of like yeah, trying to be sort of Van Gogh. Yeah. It, it looked it, it it looked very impressive. I will say that yeah. all of the rooms were, um, it it was wondrous. I will say that. Yeah, and I really enjoyed it. I think it was a lot of fun. Like Frank said, like if you're an Instagram person, you're gonna like absolutely love it. But it's also just fun to go and have a bit of a play. And um, there was a room where there was claw machines, and you oh, got yeah. you've got to go so um, with your QR code. So with your entry, you got one go on each of the machines, and there was four machines, all with the same like toys in. Oh, <laughs> all with the same toys. Um, and me and Frank managed to both win one. Yeah, and we got one with a dress on. Mine's in my trouser pocket. Uh, so you got this little guy. They're like little Miffy ripoffs. Yeah, so like these little little bunny toys. So I won this one and Frank won this one. But that was really cool. So you didn't have to pay anything. You just got to um. Yeah, you had to scan again. There you was just four scanned. You, machines. Yeah. You scanned the QR code. You got four goals. Yes, yeah, so you got four chances to win, and we managed to win. And that was our just last using two. The, yeah, the, our last two ones. Yeah, you could pay a euro as well. Yeah, so if you didn't again. win, you could you could go. Um, we only had one QR code between us as well, so got very lucky. We got very lucky. There were some American women behind us that were very jealous. Uh, we also went to pick up our. Um, so after, oh, bef just before we yeah, did, was, we film um, this. I don't think we did. I don't know. Um, so we got our text. At about it was, was one twenty. Yeah, it was earlier than they said it yeah, was going to be. So it was only be. about sixty minutes. We so waited. we popped and got our chucky. So you get two half bars, uh, and you can choose. What? So you choose all of the colours as you saw. Blah 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 blah. And what's on the edge? So that says cover your eyeballs. It says it's done. It says Ella and Frank. Yeah. Um, we got. Popping candy, white, chocolate milk, milk chocolate, white. caramel, and disco, disco dips, <laughs> which we think is um, hundreds and thousands. Yeah, hundreds Not open them yet. There's loads and loads of sweet shops, loads of them. This one was pirate themed And this one was well, called, yeah, like crazy running. pirates or something? Crazy candy, pi candy, candy pirates. Candy pirates, yeah. And it had big barrels, and all the barrels were filled with loads and loads of sweet. Oh, yeah. We saw how thick these cables were. So they're just short ones, but look how thick they are. It's like the size of my finger. Big boys. Ella wanted a sugary one. Uh, probably slightly sour. I just wanted this, this one. Um, they also, the reason we went in was because we saw some giant versions of this marshmallow strawberry with like a meringue top. But we, could, we couldn't tell if they were sweets or if they were like bath bombs because they looked like a lush bath yeah, bomb. Yeah, it was wild. So we got some of them to try. Some little ones. Some little. Gillian, probably not Gillian. That sort of fake. style chocolate. Uh, two pineapple sweets and two strawberry wild sweet. strawberry sweets is what they're called. That's all we got just to try. Yeah. See what they're like. 
We don't want to go to work. All the sweet shots were expensive as well because it's all done on um, grammage. Yeah, it was like four euros or something. Yeah. There might have been more, I can't remember. But, yeah, it was, um, um... but the idea was we were going to get those and eat them throughout the day and we haven't touched them. Actually, I had one chocolate. So, <laughs> mm. so we've got some nice sweeties. And then, the last thing we've got to show you, because we've got Kuchen off tomorrow, and um, we've... Everything we've heard is just that it's really busy. It's because tomorrow is the flower parade. Yeah. So Kuchenhof is the flower gardens. It's like this big flower garden. It's open for about eight weeks a year. So it's already not open for very long. And then <laughs> tomorrow is also the um, flower parade, which goes past Kuchenhof. But Earth Day. But really, it's actually just Ella's birthday. It's for my birthday. So. <laughs> so Ella gets a parade on her birthday. Yeah, so we bought... Um, for Kuchenhof some snacks and stuff yeah, because we, got... we think it's going to be very busy so food lines and things like that might be really little busy. breakfast of multivit and because we're meeting back up with Kit and Obi tomorrow uh, not just Kit and Obi, Meg and Daniel <laughs> are also there uh, we came across these which are just um, Lebanese wraps uh, you can get them in the UK but they're not as soft as this, they're super soft and also they come in pink, green and yellow which are fun Some colours, colours. Um, and we said, is there any chance you could get some hummus? So tomorrow we could just all have some wraps and hummus because they've got a, a fridge in the van and we don't have a fridge and we don't want it to go like the hummus to go bad. We don't know if we're going to have time in the morning to go and get some. And they were like, yeah, we're heading out to the shops now, so we picked some up. Uh, we also got some individually wrapped yeah, croissants. Croissant. And uh, these are three, four, five euros, I think. So we got some Mexican cracker mix, some Borel crocajes, which are just Japanese crackers, and then some other hot Japanese crackers, um, just to have something to eat throughout the day. Because we're not sure if the, 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 the queues for the food might be really long and yeah. really overpriced. We, we have no idea. Yeah. It's really hard to find any information about a lot of things, really, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But what was your favourite part of the day? Uh, I really enjoyed the sex museum. Not don't don't be perverted, <laughs> like not for those reasons. Um, we were talking of the tram going into Amsterdam afterwards. Like what our favourite part of the sex museum was, and there were some really cool sculptures that they'd made. It they did have a naked woman in them. Yes, that's, that's fine. But I appreciated the art that went into them. Um, and we also we both agreed because I like playing cards. They had some um, old 1938, I think they were drawn, uh, pin-up yeah. women on playing cards, and they were really, they were really, really cool. cool. Yeah. Uh, I did like how they had intera interactive, to a extent, way um, of doing it. It just made it, it gave it a bit of fun. Yeah, it brought it to life a bit more. Like they had like sort of animatronics and mm. you know little. Um, little things going on, little scenes going on and stuff like that. Oh, that, that would so. be my one thing, the um, the photo opportunity that everyone takes at that museum um, is in a very small room mm. that is a, a corridor that you have to walk through. So it gets absolutely jam-packed with people. And it's not like a corridor to a small thing. On the way into the, or part of the advertising that you use for the sex museum is you can um, learn the story about Marilyn Monroe. Yeah, so but you, to get to that section, you, you have, have to, to go through them. the room that's got yeah. the bench in it. So it, it could be better thought out, I think. I think they needed like their own room. But yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. What about you? What was your favourite part of the day today? I, I liked Wonder. I liked messing around and being silly and having mm. a laugh. Like, it was a lot of fun. There was a room where you could do some singing. There was... There was, you could do roller skating. Oh yeah, it also wonder, has, yeah, it also we has roller skating and it also has a cafe and in When the we summer, were leaving it was happy hour as well, wasn't it? Yeah, all the drinks including like soft drinks and stuff were all half price, not half price, buy one get one free, free, basically half price. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> so that was good and yeah, in the summer they have like a beach an outdoor beach that, the they beach, yeah. Yeah, that they open. Yeah, that they open. always open. It opens on the, in the summers. Okay, yeah. So in the summer they have it's, that. I will say it's in a really weird location. It doesn't... Yeah. It, 
for what the attraction is, you wouldn't think it's where it is. It's sort of... In the middle of nowhere. The, you go the... through a residential area, and then, yeah. like, onto an industrial site, and it's on the edge of the industrial site. It, re it seems a little bit out of place, but... It, it was, but yeah, it was, don't it was let fun. it put you off. I think it was a fun, yeah. a fun thing. That was another one where I think you get it slightly cheaper if you book online in advance. We also turned up like forty-five minutes early, and they just let us in. <laughs> House of Balls was good as well. I did yeah. enjoy that. I really liked um, the smelling. Yeah, part. that was my favourite bit. Going through all of the um, different smells, and you basically had to guess what the smell was, hmm. and it was really fun. And we were really bad. <laughs> one thing. I would probably say about that, if you're going on an off-peak day like we did on a, it was just a Friday today, I'd maybe, so it opens at 1, I'd maybe aim to go at about 2 o'clock, because we were outside at 5 too, and there was a bit, like, quite a crowd, and they were all doing the tour at the same time, so it, was, it got a bit backlogged, but I think if you went at 2, it'd probably be dead. Um, but, well, I did pick up a souvenir. It's not on an original bottle, but it's similar to the um, original bottles that they make there and it's a bottle of um, Geneva which is the spirits that they make so it's a cute little like pottery bowls bottle of original recipe Geneva, Geneva. Yeah. 1820 something yeah the it says 1575 that's when it was established, was established. but um, yeah it was I yeah. think it's original recipe at 1820 or something. Yeah. So, yeah. And that was really interesting, even as people who don't really drink. Yeah, uh, we did get... If I could have got a different drink, I would have got a, a virgin one, I think. But I think that's just our personal preference. If you like alcohol and drinks, I, I think it's a great experience to do. You could also do a workshop where you made your own yeah, cocktail, I Yeah, made your own think. cocktail, You were tutored. It, it wasn't just something you were left to your own devices. Um... But yeah, that's going to go with the other bottles that we've got at home. And slowly grow that out. And make a shelf for that. Uh, but yeah, it's been, a, it's been a very fun day, I think. Yeah, that's been a fun day. We'll take you tomorrow. Hopefully we'll see some wonderful flowers in the flower festival. Hopefully it doesn't get rained off or anything like that. Yeah. But we'll see. We'll see. See you all tomorrow. Bye.